All right, welcome back guys to another video. And today I am bringing back my series called Iconic 90s, where I dive back into some of my early, early pairs of shoes. Some of them are retros and some of them are actually OG originals. Now, before I get into these shoes I have for us today, uh, I just wanna thank you guys all for clicking on this video. I, I would appreciate it if you guys also hit the subscribe button so you can check out my future videos and my older videos. I do try to put some time and effort into these videos that I make. Thank you guys again. Now let's kick it to the intro. What we do here is go back. back. Where? Chili down, cool back. Today, what I am bringing to the table is going to be my oldest pair of shoes. Now, I'm almost 100% certain <laughs> these are OG, that these are not any type of re retro or remake or they you know, were re-released at any point. I don't think LA Gear, if they're even around anymore, has ever re-released shoes before. But this shoe here was probably the biggest hype shoe in my fourth grade class. Now, Jordans were around, Jordan 3s, Jordan 4s were around at that time. Those were also very, very big. These were the shoes that everybody wanted, and these are the LA Gear something or others. I don't remember, I don't remember the name of these. I might be able to find out the name before I put the video up and I can put it in the title. Um, but basically, these are just LA Gear I think that, I think I want to say they were called sky highs but for some reason I think that was a Nike shoe I'm not exactly sure these shoes when I was in fourth grade I actually got myself a pair of these I, I didn't M my mom or my grandmother somebody got me a pair of these before I went to my first ever basketball camp um, of course I did, I did get clowned at basketball camp for having these I mean this is not really what you would think of as far as technology, you know, as the best basketball shoe, best tech for basketball at that time. I mean, again, like I said, we had Jordans. That was recent, you know, that was right when the um, Nike pumps, the Command Forces came out. There, there was a lot of different shoes out, the flights, all those were out. Um, so I definitely got clown for these, but honestly, um, I, I was happy to have them. It was kind of my first, really, again, it was my first shoe that, you know, I knew kids were really digging, at least at my school. Um, I don't know if this is the same for you guys, if you guys even remember them. But big thing about them was that twisted leather right there in the middle. Um, these ones, it's definitely kind of faded. It was a lot, I think, more vibrant of a yellow, kind of similar to these laces. Um, these are definitely old. I mean, you can see the, the glue and everything has discolored. Um, I'm not sure if who had these shoes before actually maybe these were coming apart and they glued them and they just did a shoddy job as far as cleaning up afterwards. Um, not exactly sure. LA gear on the side, LA gear on the back, LA gear on the backs of the soles. Uh, a little two stripe there on the side. Now LA gear did go on to make um, I believe some iconic 90s shoes. I know they did have some NBA superstars I believe at one point. Um, it was Carl Malone that was one of their signature athletes and I believe it was I believe it was the catapults everything else is just hot air that they were pushing and that was the one that had a little bit of like a spring to the to the back heel I believe that was LA gear you kind of push on it and then and then LA gear came along with the lights I think LA gear was the first brand to bring lights into the shoes as well I mean this, this is just, I mean, this is just pure style. I mean, 80s, 89, 90, this is just pure style. I mean, it has the LA Gear logo on the tongue, super vibrant with the flames, the, the bolt on the black. Um, I, I don't know really what else to say. I mean, double lace right there, black and yellow. I mean, this, the, what, what, who's doing that now? A union, 
union and people are doing it on their traps and their dunks and off whites and all that. I mean, kind of where it started. So um, let me know what you guys all think. I mean, again, this is kind of the restart of my iconic 90s series. I know this isn't necessarily officially 90s. I think this was 89. Um, there's no tag as far as that I can really get to to see. Um, but these haven't really been worn that much and they're in my size. So I'm almost 100% sure at some point I'm going to I'm going to flex these. I don't I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm tempted because the, the heel still feels hard. I don't think it's going to crumble even this even this softer foam in the middle here. I don't think it's going to crumble. Um, I'm going to just clean them up. I'm just going to clean them up. Um, See if I can get them to look a little nicer. Maybe take a little paint to get rid of this yellowing. Maybe just leave that. I don't know. But uh, but uh, they look comfortable. I mean, they're, they're super cushiony on the inside. I mean, even the insole still says LA Gear. I don't know if you could see that in there or not. So, I mean, whoever did have these didn't wear them much. Didn't wear them much. So, uh, I'm definitely excited about having these in my collection. Considering it was a big part of my childhood. Um, and then the fact that I can even wear them now, I mean, shoot, it even matches my shirt. I didn't even realize that. I mean, my Tech Challenge shirt, which was also big during that time. Um, yeah, I might, I might flex on some people, see if they notice, see what they have to say. But let me know in the comments below, is this a pair that you had? Is this a pair that you were digging? Or do you think this is straight clowning? I, I don't, you know, or do you think if I wear these, I'm a straight clown? I don't, I don't know, but I, I'm digging them. I love them. Um. And I'm glad to finally have them in my collection again. I, I've been chasing down some old sneakers from my childhood. I mean, I think that's really where my passion for sneakers has reignited is just trying to capture some of the shoes that I didn't have. And then now it's more so getting shoes that I have. So a lot of the sneakers I'm going to be doing in this iconic 90s is actually shoes that I had as a kid that I finally found um, that I'll be sharing with you guys as well. Let me know again what you guys think in the comments below. I'll check you guys next time. Peace.